Hey, and welcome back to the sewers in downtown LA. Now, I am looking for a plague bearer or two. We're following the lead that Tin Can Bill gave us. And I think I have found where the plague bearer is. In this very location. So, without further ado. seen better days. This guy up here certainly has. Good way down here, did you? Following the smell of entrails there and rotting flesh. Little blood sucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Hmm. This place is a maelstrom of madness. The doors have been opened. The seal's broken. And the final steps into the abyss. Hmm. The beast your brother you are. Brother Kanker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Hmm. Why do you prey on the society's dregs? Sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the other vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Hmm. Do you speak of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in this last night. Spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. I will stand no more for the spreading of your sickness. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. Yes, we will dance this devilish dervish until you are dead. Okay, Ooh, there is very noisy. 
I am enlightened. Okay. That's nice. I do need blood, I'm not going to eat these little raddies. They're pretty diseased, my luck. Okay, I've killed a second plague bearer and found a fly with a strange symbol on it. You should talk to Damsel about this. Okay. Four points. And how much blood do I have left? Four blue blood packs. Actually, I've got some things to get rid of. Damsel. Let's see what she can tell us about this flyer. If anything. Ugh, candy. Does this paper symbol speak to your mind? Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. One of the buildings? Okay, I trust your eyes' memory and seek it nearby. I believe it is. Flame and skull. Not a mystical sun. Another one over there. So I guess this is the building. Ah! 
weigh in. Hello. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Hallelujah, brother. I see the light. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. <laughs> you will see me and die. Okay. Lovely place. Hey. Did, did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop. Your words are twisting my scalp, Tuffy. You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these, um, these stairs up to the, the t temple. Tell me of this torrid temple. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but, but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things. Bad, bad things. Yeah. What vile visions? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned... To try to uh oh to talk to them, but they just just stared at her with these um these woo blank looks, you know. One of them uh, started reaching for her, and she she ran away. Hmm. You wear your fear like a showy veil. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b -b bishop said we have to shed our um. Our, uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle but I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs I I just uh, I just I just want to go home you know I want to go home hmm shed your fear death has come for the bishop and his brotherhood Lift isn't working, so I guess we have to take the stairs. I just realised we're in a combat zone. Pretty dark in there. Hello. Hmm. Oh, giblets! Hey, get off! Rude. Get off! Fuck you. Fucking zombies. You want some too? Don't hit the hip, go away. Door frame. Get it. Another one. 
Hello. Take a boo. Door. Ah, welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> ah, the disease ridden demagogue. <coughs> Disease. Sister, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Tell me your name, Plague Bearer. They call me Bishop Vic. Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Do your days also end with Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day? <coughs> <coughs> the apocalypse. Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What god watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no god who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become god. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. Hmm. Your vision is more twisted than my own. Turn from this path, Dark Bishop. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. I'm the cure for your viral viciousness. Vic, die. Come back here. Jeez. 
sốt That's it, just stay there. Let me hit ya. Gotcha. to black. Bishop was the head of the plague bearers brought back to Damsel and the regent. Okay. Let's go to Damsel first. Since she was the one who gave us the quest. of the carrier pigeons and all his filthy chicks are finally extinct. You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. <laughs> I only sought to pull the weeds and allow flowers to blossom once again. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got to lack the restraint to keep their mouths shut. Maybe. See you, damsel. Okay, we'll go back to the regent. I know he might get more experience points. Where was he? was around the other side, I think. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. 
I broke the withered horse of pestilence and his dark bishop in the grave. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Bishop Vic sat upon the twisted... Sorry, the withered horse. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wished to close the curtain on our cursed drama. <sighs> I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. What treasures? If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. Well, money's fairly easy to come by. But talismans... not so much. I'll take the treasure talisman. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. Thank you. I'm no longer here. Hmm. Bloodstar. This talisman is crafted to boost disability. Blood buff has twice the duration. Okay. That's not to be sneezed at. Yeah. Ah. Clan Tremere. I guess we've got the Elizabethan rendezvous to be done. Eight experience points. I really want to put it into research, scholarship or intelligence. Might go intelligence for now. Now I'm going to read a book. No means no. A woman's guide to self-defense on the college campus. This book raises your brawl talent. Won't say no to that. Can do for advanced students. This book raises your melee skill. Won't say no to that either. Cool. I like the sound of that. Now, where do I have to go for this rendezvous? Okay, so I've got to go talk to LaCroix again before I go to the Elizabeth Dane. Okay. Let's talk to the Prince. Princey. This place here. Again. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! Okay, let's see what the prince is going to say for himself. Give the Anarch community my regards. 
Hmm. Not sure which one to do. Done. I will read you back the minutes. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Hmm. I am always ready to be already gone. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Okay. Yes. Ah, I thought I was going to get taken there. To get there myself. Beach Santa Monica. At least I know where to go now. Going somewhere? I hope so. Evening. Yeah, lovely as always. Hmm. How much money do I have? Fifty-seven dollars. Well, that's not much. Let's get a trip. We can get some things to sell. I don't really got enough money for any more blood packs. If I see someone who's uh, loitering in the wrong place, I might give them a little, have a little drink too. While I'm at it, probably should check my uh, emails to some point. Thanks for coming back. What you need? How much gold for your goods? All right, here's what we got today. Nothing I haven't seen before. Yeah, have some car stereos and a silver ring. And that's all you're getting today. Beach, look for a boat. Don't remember seeing a boat. Looks like the police have cleared out. Now, this is a stealth mission, I believe. It should be fairly straightforward for me. Since I can obfuscate myself, if I have enough blood. Hello. Hey, hey, you. Hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info. You come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Hmm. I need some nasty little toys. Here's what I got. Not much. <laughs> oh, it's another source of blood, I guess. 
Anything I can do for you tonight? How fleet your feet, Mercury? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Okay, may the wings on your feet fly you to lighter skies. Farewell. He's looking a lot better. Lily's still here. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think you guys were leaving. Okay, I get up there. Okay. Elizabeth Dane. So the crew wants us to investigate the Elizabeth Dane. You need to go to the beach at Santa Monica, where a boat will be waiting for you to take to you to the ship. You are to examine the Ankaran sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered, and take the cargo manifest for the ship. And above all, try not to go on a killing spree. Okie doke. <laughs> Uh, someone's already gone on a killing spree. There's a bit of blood around. Three blood packs. Doesn't give me much. Records room. Do that one. That is above my abilities. Uh, that's number one. Where's my abilities? Luck picking three. Yeah. Even with blood buff, it's maximum of five, I think. Is it not? I think it is. I'm trying to find a key or something. from the terminal. Can't kill him. Just gonna see here for a little bit.
think he's too busy doing what he's doing. Um, There without jumping. Maybe past this guy. Gee, I might better climb that. It's more to distract him. Scene. Come on, pick it up. Well, that didn't work. Some kind of symbol. Uh, are you guys in touch with Deepwater, MVMC, or who? Who do we have here? Not immediately familiar. Oh, look, man. This is something we need to get straight away before anyone puts any scans on Like a goddamn Quiznart of all this blood. Lieutenant? Like an animal. Gabor, check the manifest to see if they had any, uh, I don't know, animals? Titles? Something could have done this or something. Roger that, Lieutenant Goldfoss. Lieutenant? Still, would have had to be one for this little kitty cat to make this mess. No apparent tracks in the blood. Lieutenant? What is it, Private? No bodies below deck either, just days. Christ. Well, tell him to keep looking. All this blood, there's bound to be a body or two somewhere. Okay, is that where I need to go? box missing looks like. All this cargo in one little box gone. That could just be a typo in the manifest. Yeah, or someone in the crew could have swiped it. Lost it? For now we should assume that's what they came out here for. Does it say what was in it? Nope. Looks like it was packaged with the, uh, the big coffin thing, the sarcophagus. No contents listed. Fishy. Hmm. Could it be a drug thing? With a slaughterhouse scene like this, someone wanted to get a message across here. Why get rid of the bodies, though? Don't know. No sense to any of it. What about the sarcophagus? Anybody take a look yet? It's sealed up tight. Fused together practically. Can't even find a seam. You'd almost think it was solid. Hmm. Well, there's something in it. There's a bloody handprint there. And it's certainly been opened. At some point, recently. Definitely. More handprints on that one. Okay, what else do I need to do? Okay, I've got a police report. I've checked out the uh, current sarcophagus. You need to get the cargo manifest for the ship. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that. I wonder if that was on the computer in that. Um, on the bridge. I would stand to reason. into one of these guys.
There's a three down here now. Okay. I'm gonna get past with other ones. What do you mean? Records. That's probably my best bet inside. Best bet inside. It's the bridge. They're going to spot me up here, though. Um, what am I going to do? Jump up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to try, aren't I? Saw me. Shit. Well, this is no fun. These guys are definitely going to spot me. Mm. There, maybe. Not quite. Let's look around this way. Ah. Mm. It's over there. Oh, it's a key. Records room key. Cool beans. Don't move, buddy. Let's go right there! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Move! Stop right there! Fucking hell.
Well, that was messy. I didn't kill anyone, but... I'm all out of blood too. Just gonna have to sit here for a bit. In front of the records room. It's through here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Now, I've got a little bit of blood left. Hopefully, uh, that's enough. Falling off the back of the boat. Okay. Well, didn't quite get it planned. Downtown. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Hmm. I do not see death over you anymore. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Hmm. I always wanted a pet. Something to cradle before I sleep. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be... important to you. Oh, well, good. Go to our home, but no one can know about you, my pet. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Hmm. You fill the empty hole where my guts used to be. Until later, my pet. Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. 
Said they send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour, and a fresh box of Krusty Kremes in the back. How about on your way out? We, uh, huh? How do you fare here, my cheery gummy man? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. New hostile fried dough has a chance. I am gone. I've said all I need to, for now. <sighs> I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. The decks were washed with the blood of semen. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Bloody hands crept out from within and made a wonderful patterns all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Ah, uh, yes. I wonder about them all this time. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Grout in the cracks. <laughs> Grout, I cannot find this name. Oh, hang on. Um, if it pleases you. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I'll check in the bathroom. That's usually where the grout is. Um. My body moves now. When we hear from grout, you may come back. Until then. I'll be back. Okay, I'm in dire need of blood. But I'm out of time. I'm just going to quickly see if there's anyone running around by themselves in one of these alleyways. Yes. Sorry, lady. I need a bite. Well, the prince didn't say anything about getting spotted on the uh, ship. So I guess I did good. I was expecting more reward from him, though. He didn't give me anything. Anyway. My time is up for tonight, so I shall leave it there. Join me next time. And yeah. We need to go see Mr. Grout, the Malkavian Primogen. Seven points. That's not going to do much. 
Anyway, until next time.